What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Urban Permaculture. Time to do a pig update. Little baby's eating a pear. Is that good money things? Eating your bread. Little piglets are doing well, guys. Just came out here to feed mama. Babies are already starting to eat real food. Over there eating some lettuce and some green beans. Hog ration. What do you think of that banana? Is that a good banana? No, you want to go to the tomato? Mom is excited. These little guys are doing well, y'all. It's been a while since I showed you them. Muddy like pigs. You're doing a good job, Mama. They're nice and fat. What you gonna do with that bucket? So out of these five, we have three girls and two boys. I'm going to be cutting the two boys and I've got two of the girls sold already as soon as they're ready to go, as soon as they're weaned off their mama over here. I've got two of them sold already. Fat little butter balls. Mama's doing a good job of keeping them warm and keeping them fed. It's their house over there. Y'all saw me build that house. Mama and her three piglets over there. One of them's pissed off. Must must have got pushed away from the food. <laughs> You can see Floppy. Eh, maybe he's slanting right outside his house. So these little guys are doing great. These are the ones that I had to pull out. If you guys missed that video, I'll put it down in the description. I'll also drop it in an eye link that you, eye link that you see dropping in right now. If you're interested in watching this mama's birthing adventures I'll say they were not easy I had to pull pretty much every one of these little boogers out and she had 13 of them and only these five right here is the ones that made it so she had a rough time let me uh I'm gonna take a little walk over to these guys and show you what those piggies look like they'll be ready to go in about a month all right, so I'm out at the piglets, or the pigs that were born October 20th. So that makes them October, November, December, January, February, a little over four months, about four and a half, almost five months old. And they are growing fast. I haven't taken measurement on them yet to uh, see how much they weigh. Because I don't have a scale to weigh these things. There's, there's a measuring... Um, I guess you kind of almost have to be a mathematician to know it by heart, but I've got it written down inside, and of course it's online. But you'll take the, uh, I'll explain it real quick. If you take the, the measurement, the girth, you go around their belly, right here behind the shoulder blades, around. You take that measurement, say it's 39 inches, and you take a measurement from the head 
right behind the ears all the way to the tail. I'll say that's 40 inches. You'll take that 39 inches around the girth, multiply it by, don't quote me on this, I think it's 400. Uh, you take that number, you multiply it by the length, and then you divide that by, I forget exactly how much. I, I, I know, I'm sorry, I don't have the exact numbers for you. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll place it in this video while I'm talking about it, the exact formula to be able to get a weight of a pig without weighing it. I'll, I'll put that up here in the, in the video. But if I had to take a guess, thanks mama, just come over here and pee right beside me. Thanks baby. If I had to take a guess, this one is, uh, this one's a good 200 pounds. Um, this one right here, probably about a 180. And with her sister, her white little sister over there, probably about 180 also. At this stage in a pig's life, they're going to gain about two pounds a day. So they gain very, very fast. So if they're, I want to take them to slaughter, I want to take them to the butcher house, I want them to weigh between 250 and 350, somewhere around in there. Um, so in the next 30 days, with them putting on two pounds each a piece, I'll put 60 pounds on them, they're going to be just about at butcher weight. Puts us at the uh, beginning of April at that time frame. So I'll probably wait maybe a couple more weeks, probably be about the middle of April before I actually take these guys in and have them processed. Mama is going to be going back with her boyfriend over here watching us soon. Within the next week or so, I'm going to be putting them back together. So she can pop me out some more bacon seeds. Now I'm going to show y'all what one of the reasons I have these pigs. Not just for pasture raised pork, not just for an, you know, an income stream, and not just for feeding my family or families that need food. Um, but as you can tell, their till job is amazing, guys. Pigs, I had, I mean, if you leave them in this spot too long, they're gonna have big old holes and root it up real good. But look at this. These guys have tilled up a huge area for me. This is their little houses, their little lean-tos that I can drag along and in different pastures so they'll have something to hide out of the rain and elements. Yeah, look at this, guys. Look at this. Now we'll get up closer to the end over there what, the, what it did look like. All the grass, the sod that was here. Let's walk over there. Kind of walk through this a little bit. And you can see the line of the grass and then where they tilled it all up. So all this, this whole place did look like that right there, just green grass. But then when I put them in here, this is what they do. Doing what pigs do, rooting around, eating it up. Now I will need to come in, like for instance, here's a good little spot, an example, water sitting where they did root up a little much and left a little hole. Take a hard rake and throw some of the taller stuff and kind of rake it out a little bit. I'm not going to do it when it's raining because <laughs> the... Uh, the soil is going to be 10 times as heavy. But they do a great job at tilling. What am I going to be planting in this area? Well, I'm going to be planting food for the pigs. So the pigs are getting, are tilling and getting the ground ready for the food that's going to be feeding them. So it's going to be almost like a little closed cycle here. Or a closed loop here where the pigs are in here eating, in here tilling, in here fertilizing, in here com adding compound, compound interest. And behind them, when it gets a little bit warmer, I'll be planting a bunch of corn. 
bunch of running, like running stuff, the stuff that runs around on the ground, like gourds, watermelons, squashes. It's almost gonna be like a really big three sisters garden, but there are only gonna be two sisters in here between corn and different types of gourds. And then when I want to feed it to them, I can either harvest it myself or I can put them back in here and I can let them harvest it themselves. So it works out pretty good, works out pretty good. A nice system for your pigs, to, just so they're not just you know doing one thing for you, bringing you income or bringing you meat. But in permaculture we teach to stack different functions, to d stack different things, like a pig. And most people probably didn't think that pigs could be used for multiple different things besides eating them. But as you can tell, they can be used for multiple different things. All right, y'all, let, uh, let me give you a shot of big flop flop before we leave. Hey, boy. I had to take his water out of here because he is ornery and well he needs his woman he needs some womanly love if you know what I mean and he does unspeakable things to this thing <laughs> that I don't want to talk about if it's in there and eventually he pushes it up against the fence and knocks the fence over so I take it out of there I give him a couple drinks a day for instance I'll show you how he likes to drink he's kind of crazy he likes to drink out of the hose Crazy pig. Boy, you like you like the hose, don't you? You want another drink? Is it good boy? Pigs have lips. Do you know how pigs have lips? He's enjoying this water, aren't you, buddy? I don't think he drinks most of it. I think he's more like fascinated with the hose and water coming out. Aren't you, big guy? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to spray you, homie. My bad. I will put his water in there sometimes um, and just kind of stand here and wait for him because he'll take he'll take about two minutes, take a drink out of it, and then flip it over and start <laughs> doing some things to it. Isn't that right, big boy? Huh. Huh. Yeah. But he is a good boar. He does his job, aren't you, buddy? He is in a good old, well he's, he's cleared his area completely. Um, I've kept him in here a little bit longer um, just because I don't want anything to pop back up. And this area is going to be uh, my pumpkin patch this year. So as long as I keep some pigs over here to eat any grass or weed seeds that pop up, this field over here will be nice and clear and stay clear. Right, guys that's all I got for you on the piggies a little update thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up like subscribe and share this with your friends thank you all